killed me inside a little bit. Matt from Wi-Fi Ninjas here. Recently, I was working on a project for a customer. Uh, this project was to design Wi-Fi across six of their floors of a new office inside of London. The customer had sent over the floor plans to us and I had started working on them. So preparing the floor plans inside of Echo How, drawing the walls, the attenuation areas, the coverage areas, planning on where I want to place my access points, scaled the building, aligned the floors, pretty much everything you can think of. I had done to my floor plans. I go on site to do some testing and collect some data and lo and behold, what do I find? The floor plans that I have are out of date. So I need to update my floor plans inside of Echohal. But I had already started working on, like I said, drawing all the walls, the windows, the doors, the attenuation areas, the exclusion zones, the areas, configuring the areas. So the thought of having to go back and change every single floor plan and start from scratch, you know, doing all of that again, killed me inside a little bit. So I'm just going to show you one way that I do, and maybe some of you others already do it like this, but one way that you can swap the map image inside of Echohal and you can keep all of your attenuation areas, your walls, your areas. So, how I did this was by using an application called Affinity Photo. I use a Mac, but you can use Windows or Mac and just use some sort of photo editing manipulation tool. So a requirement for if you want to swap out the map image inside of Echohal, the new map that you bring in for your floor plan into Echohal, the image, they have to be the same size, have the same dimensions. Um, and if like me, you like to manipulate the floor plans before you take them inside of Echo House, so remove any unwanted layers, maybe crop it, scale it down a little bit to remove the text from the outside of the floor plan. That's what I like to do. I couldn't just use the new floor plan that I'd been sent from uh, the customer. I was going to have to edit it, manipulate it, and then do some little tweaks. So let me just show you, first of all, what the old floor plan looked like. Uh, so this is the old floor plan that I had for the customer. Bear in mind, this was for six uh, floors that I was doing. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to go through and change everything for all of the six floors. And if I look at the new one. Okay, so I had, you know, removed some layers and cleaned it up a bit before um it's got to this kind of final PNG file that you see at the moment in front of you. Um, but you can just see between the original and the new one I sent, there are some slight changes, some different walls in some different places. Um, so things like that. So the customer wanted me to use the newest and latest floor plans, of course, which I want to do, but I just didn't want to go through and have to do everything from scratch again. So how can I make sure that the floor plan that I take into site into Echo, how to replace my old one with, matches the same size as this one and everything's in the same place because you know you need to have uh, roughly everything in the same place otherwise your walls attenuations are all going to be off okay so let me just go to my echo how and then show you so this is the floor plan of the old floor plan where you can see i've drawn pretty much everything here windows doors walls wind uh, desks lifts areas place my access points everything is kind of like already and done but you know, this is the old floor plan. So what do I want to do? I want to swap the map image. So if I go to the little three dots next to the floor plan, I can come down here and use swap map image. If I click on this and I go to my desktop and I want to use the new floor plan, if I hit open now, I'm going to get an error message here saying the re replacing the image must have the same size as the original and it needs to be 4,066 by 2,811 pixels. Okay. So let's see how I did it. So like I said, I've got, I've got my affinity photo here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it go to the right and get my old files over here to the left. 
So what I want to do first, I want to drag and drop my old floor plan in first to my affinity photo. And then I'm going to just bring in the new one as well. So drag the new one and add it in. Perfect. Let me make this full size again and just drag this over here and zoom in a little bit. Okay. So the reason why I take the old floor plan in first, that's to give the base of this file now the exact same dimensions as the floor plans that I used originally. So what I've got here, I've got my old floor plan and my new floor plan, and you can see they're kind of layered on top of each other. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move to uh, this little move tool. And now you can see this floor plan I can now grab and I can move it around. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place it roughly in the middle. And then I'm going to go to where you can see on this side where I've got my layers, because what I want to do, I want to change the opacity now of the new floor plan to be quite low so I can see through that and see um, the old floor plan. So I'm just going to change it from 100% down to something along the lines of maybe 25%. Okay, so now I can faintly see roughly where my walls and stuff are for my new floor plan. And I'm just going to move this up here towards the top. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this one oh, over. And what I'm aiming to do here is to try and line up as best as possible the old one with the new one. So what you can see here, as I am just dragging it, get it to roughly the same sort of size and I can move it around. I think that's fairly close. I'll just move a little bit, maybe line these up. I think that's pretty much as close as what I'm going to get it. Um, and they're fairly similar now. So what I can do is I can change the opacity back from 25% all the way up to 100%. And then what I want to do now is right click on where I've got this first floor and I am going to merge the visible plan. So make them basically become one. So merge visible. And then I'm just going to delete my other ones below, below it and delete this one. And what I'm going to do now is go file, export as the PNG file. And I'm going to put that onto my desktop. I'm just going to call this my first floor adjusted. Hit save. And then now go back to my Ekaha. And what I'm going to do now is swap the map image again. So if I go to my little three dots, swap map image and go to my desktop. And I go to my first floor adjusted and hit open. This time it lets me swap my map image. And I've now got the new floor plan inside of Ekaha and pretty much most of the stuff in the right sort of place. So my access points and things like that, they're all looking okay. And my exterior walls, they're all looking all right. I've got to go in and I've got to adjust my some of my internal walls and my attenuation areas. But overall, it's going to save me quite a bit of time with not having to go in and do all of this from scratch again. So I turn that back off. Uh, maybe I'll just turn the walls back on. So we can see that all the perimeter walls, they're all pretty much okay. There'll be some slight tweaks I need to do, but bear in mind this was for six floors. To do this for all six floors, yeah, I didn't really, really want to do that. I just wanted to, um, you know, find a way to save myself some time since I'd already done quite a lot of the hard work anyway. So that's just one way um, that you can do it. And I thought I'd share that with you guys if you ever come across a similar situation where you've been sent out of date floor plans and you need to update to some new floor plans, this might help you and save you a bit of time. Okay, well, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.